Kyle. Ever since the concept of a new generation came out, at least two years ago, well, we've been left with a lingering question: How did it all go wrong? What really happened all those years ago? Well, here is what we know for sure. We know from the Tell Your Tale episode, the Star Scout Code, that the Great Division most likely happened over 100 to 250 years before the G5 era, depending on how long a generation is for equestrian ponies. That it is very likely the reunification was predicted ahead of time. We know from issue two of the G5 comics that the entire city of Canterlot was moved away from its mountain location, accessible via the Gate of the Ancients. What led to this remains unknown, with various competing theories. Though based on current maps of G5 Equestria, it does also seem possible the original city of Canterlot later became Zephyr Heights. Although said sources are still rather questionable. According to the story compiled by Sunny Star Scout in the Make Your Mark episode, the traditional unicorn sleepover, the Great Division was incited by a magical accident, one that resulted in a single Earth pony getting hurt. After the resulting arguments reached a fever pitch, Princess Twilight channeled all Equestria's magic into the Free Crystals. Despite her best efforts, however, the individual tribes drifted apart, no longer feeling comfortable around each other. Needless to say, there have been numerous magical accidents in the history of Equestria, none triggering the collapse of civilization. Thus, it's unlikely Sunny's recounting is entirely accurate. Another version of the narrative initially taught in Maritime Base School describes a terrifying battle between Earth ponies and unicorns, in which the former were the victors. A narrative seemingly carried over by the unicorns of Bridalwood in the Virtual Magic book. So far, the most detailed testimony we have comes from the Immortal Discord from Issue Two of the G5 comics. According to him, the conflict was incited by a mysterious unicorn with a unicorn supremacist worldview. One who somehow managed to spread conflict throughout Equestria, while beginning slow with social ostracization and open expressions of contempt, the tension quickly escalated into outright civil conflict and a similar storm to that seen in Make Your Mark Chapter One. It's likely the magical accident mentioned by Sunny was merely a further inciting incident in an already inflamed atmosphere. This all later provoked the creation of the Free Crystals by the Main Six. Supposedly a means of ensuring Equestria's magic could not divide the free tribes ever again. However, according to Twilight's own message from the past in the Make Your Mark episode, Growing Pains, we know the crystals were actually created in reaction to a mysterious mare who tried to steal all Equestrian magic. Her name beginning with the letter O. From Misty's testimony, we know Queen Opaline was likely alive at the time and viewed Twilight as stealing magic that rightfully belonged to her. Thus, the consensus is that the mysterious unicorn behind the Great Division was actually Opaline herself, though that has yet to be fully confirmed. We also know from Misty that Twilight elected to shield Equestria from the outside world with a massive invisibubble. A spell designed to render the whole country invisible for an extended period of time. This is backed up by Twilight's incomplete message: "The spell is broken. You are exposed to the world once again." Thus, it's highly likely Equestria has been regarded as missing for much of history, only recently becoming visible. This would explain why outside civilizations never once visited in all this time. Crucially, however, we know from Discord's testimony that the creation of the crystals did actually appear to bring peace, albeit temporarily. In fact, we know there was enough time after for ponies to create an entire station with stained glass windows depicting the creation of the crystals. As Sunny explained, it may be this peace was simply not enough to heal society's wounds completely. The Great Division occurring slowly in the aftermath. Here is a list of everything we know based on the aforementioned information. While this does give us some clue as to what happened back then, the question of how and why remains an open matter of speculation. I'll likely do a second video looking into the possible reasons behind this, though given how long it took to go over everything here, I'll leave the discussion open for now. Thank you all for watching, and happy housewarming.